Hello and welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to understand how to share Google Drive files in Facebook groups. So here my objective is that every time a new file is uploaded in a specific folder of my Google Drive, then automatically the details of that particular file, like the file name, file URL, file type, etc. should be shared with my team on Facebook group. Now to do that, I'll have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect. So here my trigger will be Google Drive and my action application will be Facebook group. Now to understand how you can integrate and automate this entire process yourself without the need of any coding skills, let's begin. So this here is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. You can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the video description. If you are an existing user, simply sign in and if you are a new user, you will have to sign up. It's not going to take more than two minutes. Also at the time of account creation, you are going to get 100 free tasks. Now once you reach the dashboard, on the right hand side, there's a tab create workflow. Click on this. This dialog box will appear. Here you have to name your workflow. You can give any random name. I'm going to name it as per my objective, which is to share Google Drive files and Facebook groups automatically. And I have also selected the folder. Here I'm going to click on create. And as we do that, here we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One here, this trigger. Another one here, this action. Now, triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger here says when this happens. Action says do this. Basically, action here is the automated response to what happens in your trigger application. Let's understand this with the help of an example. So every time you swipe your card, then you get a notification on SMS about the amount debited. So how does that happen? With the help of automation. In such a case, your trigger is the payment gateway and your action application can be any SMS sending application. Okay, let's come to our use case. So here my trigger application will be Google Drive. Let's click on this. Now here, what is the trigger event? So every time a new file is uploaded in a specific folder. So I want this particular event. And what should happen then? In that case, I'm going to choose my action application as Facebook groups. And what do I want to do here? The action event here will be to post message. Okay, so this is my trigger and this here is my action application. Here I'm going to click on connect. As we do that here, Public Connect wants to connect with Google Drive account select add new connection, sign in with Google. And as we do that here, it is asking me to choose an account with which this drive is connected. Once done, Public Connect Drive wants to access my Google account. So this is absolutely secure. I'm going to click on allow. And as we do that here, we can see that the authorization has been successful. And once this is done here, we have to select the folder or subfolder. So I already have created a folder. Let me show you my Google Drive. Here I have created a folder. The name is test files. Let me open this. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this drop down and go to share. And here what I'm going to do, I'm going to share this anyone with the link. Okay, so here I'm going to click on done. So once this is done here, I'm going to upload a new file here. Let's click on this. So let's say this is the Pabli property brochure here. This is what I want to upload. Now, once this is uploaded, I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. Click on save and send test request. So as we do that, it is going to give us the last response, the last file details that was uploaded in that folder. And here we have received the same. So here we have received the writers can share then web content link. So this is the link with the help of which this particular file can be downloaded. Here we have received user permission self link. Now as I take you down here we have the title of this folder. And then again this here is the permission kind drive permission. Then as I take you down what is the type it is application slash PDF and this here is the created date and time. Now once we have received all these details I'm going to take you to the second step and here I'm going to click on connect. So once again Pabli Connect wants to connect with Facebook groups account. I'm going to select add new connection connect with Facebook group. So as we do that we can see that the authorization has been successful. I had already logged into my Facebook account. Now once this is done here we have to select the name of the group. So let me take you to my Facebook account and let's go to the various groups that I have created. So let's say that I want all these details to be added to Pabli Tech group. So here I'm going to select Pabli Tech. This is the name of the group. Now the message that I wish to write is 
team a new file has been uploaded to test files folder in google drive the details are now here i want to mention the name of the file url and the file type how can i do that for that i'm going to use this method which is known as mapping so i already have this information in the previous step and here i'm just going to retrieve the same so for the file name this here is the title now let's enter the file url this here is the url for the file type so as i take you down this here is the file type now this method with which i have added this information here is mapping and this is important so that every time you receive a new response that new response can be taken here had i written this manually then this information would have become static which means then this wouldn't have changed so to avoid that problem we map the information once we have added this now if you have any other link to be attached with the message you can add the link here i'm simply going to click on save and send test request and as we do that here we have successfully received the response this here is the id let me take you to my facebook group and here i'm going to quickly refresh this page and once this is done now as i scroll down so you can see that yes we have received the message so this means that our integration here is a success okay and as i click on this particular file you can see that the file has been downloaded okay now let's check the same in real time so i'm going to take you back to google drive here i'm going to upload another file let's say this time it is kerala travel brochure i'm going to click on this open so the file is getting uploaded and here you can see that the file has been uploaded and the moment this is done now i'm going to take you back to facebook group and here i'm going to refresh this page and here you can see we haven't yet received the response why because if i take you back to public connect you can see here it is written that this trigger will check for new data in 10 minutes which means that our trigger application is polling based so the workflow is going to run in every 10 minutes to fetch for new data okay so now let's wait for 10 minutes and then we are going to check the facebook group once again so it's been 10 minutes now i'm going to take you back to facebook and here i'm going to quickly refresh this page and as i scroll down you can see just now we have received another message and yes this time the file name is kerala travel brochure here we have received the link and this here is the file type so this means our integration here is a complete success taking you back to public connect let's understand what we have done so we have selected our trigger application as google drive the event here will be new file in specific folder then our action application was facebook groups where the event was to post message i hope this is absolutely clear to you if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description you can also clone the same and start to process immediately apart from this if you have any specific integration to work on you can always write to us not only this but you can integrate multiple applications using public connect software to ask any of your query you have to write at forum.pabli.com you can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com/connect to get all the details about the latest updates the integrations and applications you can visit our facebook group if in case you have found this video helpful then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.